Hey guys, it's Jeff and today iOS 11.3 beta 1 was released to developers and very likely the public beta will be coming to you guys very soon. iOS 11.3 brings new and important features to all iDevices along with new experiences which will completely change the way you use iOS. We also have run some speed and performance tests so make sure to stick around for the entire video because you will not want to miss those results. Before we move on, let's just check out the build number for this version and that is 15E5167f. So without further ado, let's check out iOS 11.3 beta 1. Finally, I can say that iOS 11 has received new features and it's been a while since we've seen a new feature or UI change in quite a while. The first new things that we will see when we're setting up the phone is the privacy setting option and as well the more iCloud storage options when setting up the device. The first feature that we will look at is the iMessages being brought back to the iCloud. This was a highly requested feature to be brought back to iOS 11 and now we finally see it here in iOS 11.3 so let me know in the comment section down below if you will be updating to iOS 11.3 for that feature. Just to give you a rundown on iMessages, basically it's iMessages will be saved in the iCloud so it will be accessible anywhere you want as long as you have iCloud access. The first actual new feature we see is there are new Animojis for the iPhone 10. You can see them here on my iPhone and I'm really enjoying the new ones that Apple has added. Hopefully Apple continues to bring new and improved Animojis to the iPhone and maybe even some limited edition ones as well. Let me know in the comment section down below which new Animoji is your favorite and maybe any suggestions as to ones Apple should add to iMessages in the near future. Okay, so next up is battery life and battery health. Obviously Apple has had a bit of a rough patch with this topic, so they are trying to make it easier for users to see and manage battery health and battery life. Now under the battery menu, you will see more detailed statistics of battery health. Along with that, you will also see an option for auto brightness, which is super helpful because ever since that was removed from the brightness and display settings menu, it was really hard to access. In the future, Apple will be adding that throttling feature to be turned on and off in this battery menu, along with a battery health section, which will allow you to basically see how great your battery health is. Also in the settings app, there is a new look to the storage menu that also provides you with more definitive tips as to how you can improve your storage. Now, I did take a look at the files app and still the macOS server menu does not work, but hopefully we'll see some action on that in a later beta. Next up is the new health records feature, which makes it easy for consumers to see their available medical data from multiple providers, whichever they choose. Patients from participating medical institutions will have information from various institutions organized into one view and receive regular notifications for their lab results, medications, conditions, and a lot more information than that. Of course, the data contained in these health records is encrypted and protected with a passcode. Now, just to take a second to talk about performance in real life use, and iOS 11.3 is noticeably smoother in going throughout the OS. Everything seems to be a lot faster whilst avoiding those jitters and freezes that we were seeing before. Loading apps and data seems to be a tad bit faster and overall I'm really pleased with the performance. As to how this will affect my battery life, I'm not sure, but I will update you on my battery life sometime soon. Now in regards to performance, I did some benchmarks which have proven to provide your iDevices with a significant performance boost in iOS 11.3 over iOS 11.2.5. Let's take a look. In 2.2, we scored a 238,145, which is much higher than the previous test where we received a 225,023. In 3D Mark, we scored a 2,810, which is again much higher than the score we received in iOS 11.2.5, which was a 2,556. Moving on to Geekbench, and we tested the CPU first and got a score of 4556 on the single core and a 10,790 on the multi-core. In the compute performance, we got a 15,670, which is again much faster than the speed seen in iOS 11.2.5. 
So guys, that's all you need to know about iOS 11.3. I would highly recommend taking a look at this beta if you were interested. And to sign up for this beta, just head over to beta.apple.com and they will provide you a way to participate in the public beta program. If you have any questions about this update, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be more than happy to answer those. If you like the video, please on your way out, hit that like button and also get subscribed for some more upcoming content. It's been awesome sharing this new update from Apple with you, but unfortunately that's all the time I have for today. So stay tuned and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.